Hi guys, a very warm welcome from HD Creations. Today we are going to create peacocks in Kalamkari style. So in this we will be doing dividing basically this particular sheet. I have taken a uh, watercolor sheet which is approximately 21 cm by 15 cm which is half of an A4 and have drawn a border of 1 1 cm that is in case you want to get it framed and I will be drawing it diagonally into two half parts so that in one part we will give some color and in the other part we won't give and we will be drawing two peacocks in this particular sheet so let us start so for this I am just drawing a reference line here so this is going to be my branch and it's going to you know the break up like this you will make that once we placed the peacocks so in this one peacock i'm going to make over here for making that peacock don't draw very dark on the sheet because it's going to leave an impression So here this way it's going to be and the wing is going to be in a special way like we'll draw it like this and in the lower part it is going to be designed like this. After this, it's going to end here and we are going to make a tall tail. So like this. And we are going to go around the tail. Now here I am going to make a big leaf. So if this a little bent down and from here we are going to give a leaf pattern here. So we will make another peacock over here. So this time it's going to be facing this side. The wing style is going to be almost the same. It's going to be the tall tail here also. Like this, and here also we will draw the leaves.
Then I am going to draw a few flower motifs here. Now we'll basically fill up the background area with various leaves and flowers. Iska body thoda sa thicker karin. We can basically make all those changes once we are fairing it in pen. Here also we'll have the leaves. So we will, when we are fairing the leaves, we'll do the leaf shapes that we've learnt in the first chapter and the second chapter. So I'm going to draw the same flower here also. So in this way our drawing part is done. Let us now take our pens to start our first we'll draw out this. So now first we'll start with the fair, with the birds. So we are going to completely fair it out. If there are any mistakes we can correct them when we are doing this. So I'm making my lines sharper here. Now for the wing I'm dividing it, first we'll have lines double, then I'm drawing a curvy line here which is very peculiar of this style, then these are the longer curves and then we are going to just connect these. Now comes the neck area, first let me draw this. So this I am drawing like this and then in the same way I 
Now here at the neck area, I'm going to draw two lines. Then we'll have the tiny curves and we'll have the tall curves, keeping the pattern consistent with the beam. Then we'll have here division, tiny curves and the tall curves. Now I'm going to just draw a simple check here. Like this. Here also we'll draw double line. The same pattern will continue as we've done at the upper part. Like this. Now in this, now we are going to draw these lines in the center part. Like this. Now first let us draw the this way. Another line. It's the eye. In the same way, let us draw the other peacock. The pattern is going to be almost same. Only thing the number of lines we will increase. Then we we'll have the normal curves. Now we are going to do the head. Let me turn it this way. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to extend this pattern only. We are going to do a little different pattern in this and that. Just extend this curve pattern and and in this upper portion. I am using a red color to make the check pattern. Like this. Here also what we are going to do is in this body flowers with the red color and in some portions we are going to add a tinge of red here like here Here also, like now we will give a thin line of red in these in 
the same way we'll give it here also now let us first finish the designing of the tail area Now I am taking my red pen and I am going to do the outer line using red pen here. Now here I will add a little bit of red color. Having the peacock started looking nice, so as you start, I am not going to use too many colors. So as you start using your colors into this, you will start seeing that the uh, painting starts taking shape. This way. Now let us outline, just outline these branches. Now I am going to give my shape to the leaves here. So just give leaves shape to your leaves. Now here also, I am going to give this typical, then I am going to draw my flower. Now here this is a bigger curve leaf so just draw it. Okay, we are first going to draw this. So don't keep don't keep too much of an empty space also, okay? It won't look nice.
Now let us make another flower here. Now let me um, just remove all the pencil marks and show you. Now before we go ahead into designing the leaves and the patterns in the leaves, I am going to color the base area here black. See now it has started looking nice. Now we are going to do a little bit of shading in our leaves. Now to finish our painting, I am just going to give a little bit of shading. So now we are going to do contrasting colors in the base area to make it look more better. So I am taking my pencil colors here. These are watercolor uh, pencils. So I am just going to do, you can use any colors here. But I am doing watercolor pencils. Now we can just take a darker shade of green 
and just create a little bit of shaving so I'm using plain water nothing else is there in the brush then the same way I'm going to do all my leaves So for the um, these leaves, I'm just doing a little bit of orange, and we'll do a little bit of white. So this way, I'm going to do this leaf also. Now I'm just doing a very light shade of red here. So now here I'm doing shades of brown. So you can create a beautiful shading and those colors will start blending once you start doing your mixing using your brush. That's the advantage of using watercolor pencils. You can even decide to do pure watercolors if you don't want to use your watercolor pencil. So it's going to create a beautiful hue here just by mixing these colors using water. Just forgot. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to do a blue here and I'm going to blend it up.
so I have just done a brush color outside to just give a contrast so now you can see that we have done this half black and white and half color and now our beautiful peacocks are ready do like our video and subscribe to our channel and don't forget to press the notification button so that you can be notified as soon as we put a new video or are live on our channel. Thanks for watching and bye bye.